Okay, and we are back. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the stream. It's me. It's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre gaming. Below me on the screen, I have three links. There is a red link and a pink link. Those are to my YouTube channel, the Pokemon channel, and the Politopia channel, respectively. If you're interested in either of those games or you like what you see today, feel free to go and check them out. You can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. Purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here on Saturdays at 2 and on Wednesdays at 6.30. That's p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to come, join the chat, talk to me live, hang out, discuss deck building or anything in general, you do it there. There's also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. If you want to get me offline, talk to me about either of the games I play or just shoot the shit, you can do it in the Discord. So, today, today we're working with this Credilly deck. I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous. It's not the best. I've seen some people put up versions of this Credilly deck already. Um, I made mine before I saw the video, so I have not adapted it for those. Um, I have made adjustments to it since uh, I did make it, though. I did some experimenting. The uh, the Grand Tree does work on fossils, so I'm very happy to find that out. And the Rare Candy as well, so these are good things for us. So, Credilly, 150 HP. Not a lot. It's a grass type. It's stage two. Selective slime ability. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads choose burned, confused, or poisoned, your opponent's active Pokemon is now affected by that special condition. Right? We also have the Miasma Wind. This attack does 100 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. So ideally, you could have just a Credilly deck where you have some Credilly on the bench. You flip the coins. You burn, confuse, poison your opponent's Pokemon. You get up to 300 damage from your Miasma Wind. One energy is very nice. So, how are we getting this Credilly into play? It's stage two. So, it's using the Root Fossil. This is not super useful. You cannot use this as a starter Pokemon. It counts as an item when you draw it. So, you need other things in the deck. So, we are playing Omastar V in here. With Primal Guidance, search your deck for up to two Pokemon that evolve from an item that has Fossil in its name and put them onto your bench and then shuffle your deck, right? So, the idea is get your Omastar V, you play it forward, you attach Grass Energy to it or Psychic Energy or whatever fucking energy you want to attach to it, and you drag two Lilips onto your bench. You skip out the Root Fossil Necessity. That is a fantastic way to do it. So... We also do have in here the rare candy. Rare candy will allow you to evolve your root fossil immediately into a Credilly. I mean, into, yeah, Credilly. So if you did use the Omastar to put Lilip on the bench, you can still evolve your root fossils into Credillys. Not bad. We also have the Grand Tree in here. Once during each player's turn, that player may search your deck for a stage one Pokemon that evolves from one of their basic Pokemon and put it on that Pokemon to evolve it. If that Pokemon was evolved in this way, that player may then search their deck for a stage two Pokemon that evolves from that Pokemon and put that Pokemon onto that to evolve it. Then the player shuffles their deck. So you can basically fully evolve a basic Pokemon or your root fossil right into the Credilly. So that's pretty cool. And we have in here, we have paired the Credilly with the Hisuian Typhlosion. Why? Because the type so, blah, 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 blah. the Hisuian Typhlosion has the ability Supernatural Orb. You may discard a Psychic Energy from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon burned and confused. So the idea is you have the Hisuian Typhlosion on your bench. You get rid of having to flip a coin for your Selective Slime. You can just discard a Psychic Energy. You can burn and confuse your opponent's Pokemon. Then you flip a coin, maybe you poison them as well. That makes it far more likely. This guarantees you, as long as you have a Psychic Energy in your hand, this guarantees you 200 damage for your Credilly. So that is why we are playing the Hisuian Typhlosion in this deck. That is the idea behind it. We got tired of flipping coins and relying on fate and the terrible RNG algorithms they've put into this game. And we have just gone straight around it. We have the Typhlosion in here. Typhlosion also synergizes with the Grand Tree. Typhlosion also synergizes with the Rare Candy. So, I also have Call Ross's Tenacity in here. Search your deck for a Stadium card and an Energy card. This is very useful when you want to grab the Grand Tree, put it into play. Whenever you need to grab a Psychic Energy or a Grass Energy, we have both in this deck. We do also have Irita in here. If you need it, you can use the Irita. You can grab yourself an Omastar V and whatever else item you need. We're going to be playing, clicking clicking the heads. We got the heads. The early wins. Do I want to go first? I don't think I do. Because if I go second, then I can play the Omastar straight up. Let's try going, let's try going second. So, going up against Honey Chew. It looks like it might just be a Charizard EX deck. Uh, surprise, surprise. We have the Cyndaquil start. This is terrible for us. Um, we're going to go Pokegear. Arvin, Call Resist Tenacity, uh, Poke Research. What do I want to grab? We got a Rezu. We don't want to use Poke Research. Um, I guess we could go Call Resist Tenacity here. No, we're going to go Arvin here. 
Um, and we're going to use it to grab ourselves um, a nest ball and um, and the forest seal stone, I guess. Ideally, right? And I'm going to save the mess of Goza for next turn. Go Nesto. We'll grab ourselves the Amistar V. Um, we could go for Steel Stone. I kind of want to get the Cyndaquil out of there because the Nest Ball just revealed this is the only one we have. Um, if they have the Charizard EX, we're in trouble. Um, I don't want to use the Force Steel Stone to get... I mean, I guess we'll go for Steel Stone and we'll grab a Switch maybe? No, we'll just go Psychic Energy here. We'll retreat. I could have gone switch, and then I could have gone that that turn. That's terrible. I'm such an idiot. Um, we'll go star alchemy here. Um, hmm. What do we have? We don't have call Ross. We want to go a Rezu next turn. We have the rare candy for Cyndaquil. Um, no, we have the Rezu for the Credilly. So I kind of need. I should have gone that turn. That was bad. That was a bad bad play by me. Um. I guess we'll go Earth and Vessel. Um, I misplayed that. I fucked up there. Um, I don't know what metal song I would send you. That's interesting. What would I send? What would I send? Do you want like a heavy song? Or do you want like a lighter song? They have the Charizard. Thankfully, we got the Cyndaquil out of the starting position. Oof, that could have been painful. And it sucks that we, we, we should have gone last turn. Because we could have retreated out. We would have had the Credillies in play. We could have used the Arezu. We could have evolved them. This was terrible play by me. Absolutely appalling. Serious misplay. I'm very disappointed with myself. We're going to go Energy here now. Um, Earth and Vessel. They didn't attack. That's bizarre. Um, I'm not going to play the Arezu this turn. I think we're just going to go like this. I'm really disappointed in myself that I misplayed that. I really should have gone for the switch. And then, um... I could have just gone last turn. And I could have had these already in play. I could have had two Credillies. This guy could have been confused. That's terrible. We're playing with us, uh, my own version of the Credilly deck that we were building last stream. And, uh, yeah. Maybe doing a, a nasty little Brute Bonnet Roaring Moon deck next. So, uh... Yeah, but you'll have to watch the live stream after the fact to see that. Um, we only have two Cordillies in the deck. This is terrible. All right, so we're going to go Cordillie here. We're going to go Cordillie here. We're going to get rid of the Arezu. We're going to go Psychic Grass here. Oh, baby, I'm going to go Grass on here. We're going to retreat this monkey. Play the Cradilly forward. We're going to discard this Psychic Energy. Get that done. I mean, I should have just gone for the Slime, because if I if I get it, if I get two of them, then I would have been good. Fuck, I could have saved that Psychic Energy. I'm an idiot. That's all right. And we're just going to go Poison now. Miasma win for 600 damage. We'll take out this Charizard EX. No problemo. One shot by the Cradilly. One, two. We're going to grab these cards. I'm going to select. Thank you. Irita and a Psychic Energy. That's perfect. Fantastic. We're in a great spot. I know. I Honestly, I should have just gone for the, the Selective Slime and saved that energy in my hand. I would have had two Psychic Energies here. That would have been good. Thank bud. Hope you have an awesome stream. Thank you very much. I assume I will with this crowd of goofballs that I got in the chat here. It's going to be uh, good vibes. Good vibes. Just had a Politopia stream. I'm very happy with that. Did a bunch of crap. Now we're doing... Doing some Pokemon, so I'm in a very good mood. Very good mood. And this second deck is exciting. I'm very excited to show off. This Brute Bonnet Roaring Moon deck is insane. I, I'm surprised I haven't seen it anywhere. It's not new either. Um, But that Brute Bonnet is nasty. So nasty. Um, Maybe everyone showed it when it came out and I'm just missing it or something. We got an Eevee coming in. Is there going to be a Flareon to deal with? That's interesting. Maybe that's the direct counter they've brought in for Credilly. First Blast, they're going to put five damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. So they take out the Omastar V. Very nice. And they get two prize cards for it. That's a very clever use of that. I do get a single prize card, though. So I'm now at three. And we get the Credilly. Excellent. We can use the Irita to grab the Root Fossil. Um, 
which is not actually great because um then we can't use it for the rare candy that we would want i mean i guess we could try the mesa goza and we'll see if we get the the lily with that who are you calling a goofball goofball i am a goofball that's why i refer to yeah i'm i'm a goofy fucker man <laughs> We got the rare candy anyways. Hallelujah. Fuck yes. All right. So we're going to go in here. We're going to grab the root fossil. Um, I'm not going to grab the armor star. I really don't really don't need that kind of energy right now. We're going to go root fossil here. Um, I wish I had a boss's orders. That would be nice. Um, I don't really want to lose to this Pidgey, but that's all right. We're going to go like this. Selective slime. Hopefully we can get the heads. We got the heads. Fantastic. Um... We're going to go burn this time. Um. Mm. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to take it out, right? We'll go... Miasma Wind. Because we'll use the Earthen Vessel to grab the Grass Energy next turn. Um. I don't want to use any of these. Because if they Iono me, then, like, I would have used it. And I can't do anything with the... The cards that i've used so i'm just gonna leave it like that so we have one card left to take i mean one uh, uh two prize cards left to take so one charizard x left to take um this might be game this might be a nice quick quick cheeky game flareon coming into play it can do 60 damage discard a coin flip a coin if heads discard an energy from your opponent's active or this 90 so it'd be do 180 but they could take the credilly out i still don't have a boss's orders so that would be tough, because then we would lose the Credilly. We do have another one coming through. I hope they don't get an Iono. Haven't seen one yet. We will see. They do have the Pidgeot X. There's always that risk that it goes and it grabs a fucking card that I don't want them to have. But it looks like they need to use it to grab the Charizard X or the Rare Candy. But um, we will see. Two Buddy Buddy Poffins out the door. Charizard X coming through. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. So they are going for the Flareon attack, specifically to screw me over. Because if they bring the Charizard X in next, they can take this out with the Flareon. And then I have to take that out with the Credilly. And they can take my my uh, other Credilly out. And they keep the Charizard on the bench. We'll see. We'll see. So they're going to do, they're going to take this out, no problem. They're only going to get one prize card for it. They did not attach any energy to their Charizard EX, which is very interesting. Very interesting. They have three energies in the discard pile, three in play. That would be enough for um, three Charizard EX. So maybe they don't have... Like, why wouldn't you put an extra one on you? You, I'm confused. Maybe they don't have it? We'll see. We will see. We got a switch. We like that. We're going to go like this. We're going to go Earth and Vessel. I'm actually going to get rid of the Mesa Goza now. We're going to grab two Grass Energies here. What do we have in hand? Yeah, all right. So we have to really rely on the hope that we get the Selective Slime hit from one of these guys. Um, Really need a heads. In fact, we need both heads, don't we? Shit. We didn't get it, so we're only going to do 100 damage max unless we discard the energy for the Typhlosion, which means we're not going to have it next turn. Wow. Okay, so we actually have to discard the fucking energy. So we got fucked over by bad luck, which sucks. We'll play the Cyndaquil here, and I guess we're just going to take this guy out. That's such a shame, dude. So we need to find a Psychic Energy, an Earthen Vessel, or a uh, Energy Retrieval. We didn't get it. That's bad. It's not looking good. Not looking good for us. Um, we've, we've played two, so we might not even have what it might be prized. We have not seen an energy retrieval yet. That would be great. We have not seen a Lana yet either. It's going to be close. They don't have any energy. They do now. We're going to see. I should play a Super Rod. But I don't have a fucking Pidgeot EX to go and grab it. So. Yeah. We're really gonna need, um. Really gonna need to find an energy. This is not good. 
Tough, tough, tough. Got bad luck on... If we'd gotten one of those flips... Oh, they're going for the Typhlosion. Oh. So they might have just lost it there. Um, If we can flip heads with both of these guys, we get the win. Um... We're going to see. We're going to see what happens. This is nerve-wracking now. Omastar, that's not helpful at all. We're going to put this there. We're going to go... Can we get two? Can we get two heads? Two heads? Two heads? We got one. We got one. We're going to burn. Burn this guy. Can we get a second heads? Second heads for the win? Second heads for the win. Come on. Yes! We got the second heads! We're going to confuse them now. Bam, baby. And we're just going to take out the Charizard EX for the win. Yes. Yes. Ha <laughs> There we go. Bam. And there's the psychic energy we needed. Oh, baby. Oh, it feels good. The second Cradilly would have won the next turn. I would have had to get a coin flip for that. That's the thing. I wanted both that turn because if I, um, if I didn't... If I didn't um, get the coin flip the next turn, I already had a go where I flipped two coins and I got two tails. That's all right. It's This is not the strongest deck. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fun. When it works, it's good. When it's not working, it's just not going to work. And that's that's unfortunate. I, I, yeah. It's whatever. All right. So let's go back over this Cradilly deck. This was an interesting one. Um, it's very tricky to play with. It's my own little special amalgamation. I had help from my stream chat putting it together. The Typhlosion combination um, helps get rid of the coin flippiness for the Selective Slime, but that's a lot of evolving you got to do, so it's not the best. It's a little clunky. It's a little tough. We have confirmed both the Rare Candy and the Grand Tree work on the Root Fossil, so that's good news. Um, I didn't play my best when I was playing with this, unfortunately. I made a bunch of stupid mistakes. But that's okay. Um, I saw someone else had already put a video up of this Pokemon, and instead of the Grand Tree in it, they had that laser ace spec. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of different ways to play this card because of how interesting it is, how little energy it needs, and, um, how unique it kind of, the playstyle is. But, um, yeah, if you have a better one, if you come up with some interesting interesting cards you add into this kind of deck, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear them. That'd be really cool. Um, that'd be very special. And uh, for sure. So that is going to be it from me today. I hope that everyone that came along for the stream had a good time. I had a very good time today. This deck is a little tricky to play with. It's definitely fun. Below me on the screen, I have three links. There is a red link and a pink link. Those are to my YouTube channels. They are my Pokemon and my Politopia channels, respectively. So if you like those games, if you like what you saw today, feel free to go and check them out. Put up videos pretty regularly. Um, you can like, you can subscribe. If you click the bell, it will let you know when there are new videos available. The purple link is to my Twitch. That's where I am now. I'm here on Saturdays at 2 and on Wednesdays at 6.30. That's p.m. Eastern time. As I said, I will not be here uh, next Saturday. But uh, maybe I'll do an in-between in, in -between stream on Friday or something. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'll, I'll announce it in the Discord if I do. Um, yeah, stream Saturdays at, at 2 and Wednesdays at 6.30. That's p.m. Eastern time. So if you want to come and join the chat and hang out, and you talk to me live, help me build the decks, give me suggestions, or just come along for the ride, that's the place to do it. There is also in the information box a link to a Discord channel. Everyone is welcome. If you want to get me offline, talk to me about any of the games I play or anything in general, that's where you can do it. There is a channel in the Discord, actually, where you can put decks. Uh, I can give you advice on decks. You can discuss decks and Pokemon and stuff with people in the Discord. Many of the people from the chat stream today have been are in the Discord, so feel free. Um, and yeah, I I want to thank everyone that came along for the stream today, and you, the viewer at home, if you're watching this on Twitch or on YouTube after the fact. I hope you're appreciating. I mean, I hope you're enjoying the content. I'm certainly enjoying making it. I hope you uh, are getting something good out of it, and I appreciate the support. So if you feel like it, you can follow, you can subscribe, you can like the video wherever you are. Drop a comment if you're on YouTube. Let me know what you think. And yeah, hope wherever you are in the world, you have a wonderful rest of your evening. You get a fantastic night's sleep tonight. Just super restful, super, super sleepy. You wake up full of beans, energized, ready to take on tomorrow. That is going to be it from me today. So take it easy. Peace out. Adios.